what's up everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Taylor and I don't upload consistently I need to fix that as you can see here's a dog <laughs> you you're gonna hear like little pitter patters throughout the entire video as they are running back and forth on this hardwood floor. It's not really hardwood, it's more like linoleum, but whatever, you get the gist. So, I don't know if you can tell, but we're on a different camera today. Here is my vlogging camera. As you can see, we are on a much, as you can see, we're on a much bigger type of thing. This is actually my photography camera. This is the one I use to shoot all my sessions with. Currently, it has a bigger, it has like my normal zoom lens on it, which that boy was expensive. Let me tell you. But we're actually going to be doing a different type of video, one that I've never done before. Um, first we're going to start off with a little Target haul because I went to Target. And then next off we are actually going, it's not really unboxing, I tried to film this once before. I tried to film this once before but it just kept getting interrupted and I'll insert some clips somewhere around here. But if you're new to my channel my name is Taylor. Obviously, I just said that I don't have a consistent uploading schedule, which I need to get. Um, I just need to get over the fact of being nervous to film in public, and I think I will be good. Plus, also, I work a lot, so I'm not going to use it as an excuse because it's lame. But I'm going to work on it. I'm going to start trying to become regular. I'm going to start off now by saying I'm going to try to upload once a week after I post this sometime or another but you should definitely follow me on my Instagram which I'll have somewhere around here uh, Twitter Facebook you should also follow my business page which I'll post here because you know if you ever want to book a session whether it be seniors engagement your wedding your bridals your kids your birth whatever it may be I like I do all walks of life I'm not gonna be like oh I'm not gonna turn you away but anyways before I start before I keep rambling too long let's get into this video so target haul um, let's see first thing that I got was and also I apologize for this mess back here I I don't have an excuse um, I got this little struple focus on this focus I'm not good at this guys it's a little struple waffle I just want to try it I don't know what it's about Sounds delicious. It's caramel, and I'm all for caramel. And then I got these two sheet masks. I got one that's calm, like for calming, I guess. It's from the brand Peach Slices. It has jasmine and chamomile in it. It's a sheet mask. And then I have the other one, another one, which is a hydrate one, which has thyme and morning calm flower. So we'll see. I have not found, like, a good sheet mask that won't like irritate my skin like most time I'll put it on and like immediately it starts burning to where I have to take it off so we'll try these and then next I got some almond butter which is the brand Justin's it's the honey one I really love their maple almond butter but they don't for some reason my target doesn't have it in this size container they only have it in like the little on-the-go pouches so 
there's that. And then I got some hint water. I have a green apple, and then I also have a watermelon. A watermelon. I got two of each. I actually just discovered this, so it's not really... It's not a new thing. It's not like a, like, oh, they just came out with it. It's been here a while, but I just discovered it. And I actually really like it. And if you don't like drinking plain water and you get tired of lemon water, this is a good alternative because it has zero sweeteners, zero calories, and it's water infused with whatever flavor you get and other natural flavors from non-GMO plants. And it's unsweetened. So like there's no sugar. There's, there's, it's literally just flavored water. But don't let it deceive you. Like when you take, when you like first take a drink, you're like, oh, I'm disappointed because it's just water. But then you're like, and then bam, it hits you. thought I heard something but it's just dogs. Also if you hear like wind or leaves rustling out because I have my mic plugged up, I have this window open for the dogs so they can look out it. Anyways, on to the big item thing. Am I in focus? I think I'm in focus. I don't know. I've never recorded on this camera, so this is a this is a first. I only know how to take pictures on it. Um, I we okay. Let me put it this way: in March, which is not too long from now, uh, my mom, Tyler, and I are flying to Chicago to go see my sister, and so I like it's primarily like for me like. I wanted to go and kind of made it into like a big vacation so I wouldn't have to go alone because your girl hates going anywhere alone. But, um, what was I about to say? Oh. So, yeah, so, anyways, I, I lost my train of thought. But we're going to Chicago. And as, I don't know, if, as many of you have seen, Tyler and I got engaged and we get married next year. Which is still a long ways away, but it's not really that far if you think about it, like, planning-wise. Like, you, you gotta get on the ball on this stuff. But, we only have this. We have, like, other ones too, but this is, like, a carry-on suitcase. Like, this is usually, like, what we do our traveling with because it has like the 360 wheels it is a hard side case instead of like a soft side because that's that's really what we have is just like a ton of like soft sided suitcases but when you're flying I like I prefer a hard sided suitcase so knowing that we're getting married next year and knowing that we're going to Chicago and it's gonna be at the end of March so it's still kind of cold because it's up north and so it's still gonna be a lot colder than it will be down in Texas so I was like okay I'm gonna get a checked luggage size hard sided suitcase say that five million times fast and so I did some digging I checked at Walmart because I'm not trying to like I'll spend money if I need to, but I don't want to. I checked Target, I checked Amazon, and there really wasn't anything that was like grabbing my interest per se. And so I know the brand Cowpack. I've seen them, I love them. I've never owned a suitcase from them, but I love the brand. I hear nothing but good reviews, good durability, good everything. So what your girl did is, now this is the medium size, so they come in three sizes. You have your carry-on, your medium, and your large, which I think is like the large is 24 inches, or the medium's 24 inches, and the large is 28 inches, I think. The large, like, you could fit a body in, so just know. 
but I ordered a medium size checked luggage because I figured if we're going to Chicago and it's gonna be cold we're gonna need kind of thick clothes and a carry-on's not gonna fit the both of us and why am I going to worry about like two personal items and then two suitcases for each of us when I could do one check bag one overnight bag so like just in case like my our luggage gets lost we have like a change of clothes some shampoos and stuff like that like ne like necessities basically like if this happens we have we're covered and then that allows us to bring the camera bag which will have my camera equipment in it and then uh my purse basically because we really won't need like our backpacks because it'll be right after spring break there really isn't a whole lot of tests plus I can do all my stuff online so I we just need one computer so we don't need a whole a whole bunch so that's the plan now cow pack isn't cheap but when it comes to keeping your items safe, you're going to want to get what you pay for. And you don't want... Now... Sorry. Got distracted. Scratch that whole idea. Anyways, okay. So, that's why I'm filming on my big camera. Is because when I tried to do this originally, I was only filming on this camera. And... The interior interior of the suitcases is black, so it's really hard to see it from a distance. You can't really see what you're looking at. So I figured I would film the main part of the video on this camera, which is my big camera, and also to see, like, to test out what the quality is like, because eventually I would love to get into, like, wedding videography, which that is a dream goal of mine. I'm starting my business off super small as all businesses do and I'm just trying to grow and trying to start small but dream big basically. What I try to do is film on this like the main stuff and then show you like firsthand like actual footage of the suitcases. And I'll compare them, so I'll, like, show you size difference from the carry-on to the checked one. Now, I will say that I didn't mention before is our carry-on is by the brand American Tourister, which is a really good brand. It's about, I wouldn't say half the price, but it's actually a lot cheaper than Cowpack. And you can buy it off Amazon. Now, you can buy Cowpack off Amazon, too, but it's about the same price. So, if you're looking for, like, a cheaper but still cute alternative to a cow pack, I would definitely check out the brand American Tourister. Really good. Really sturdy. Haven't had any problems. The wheels are really smooth. I just couldn't find a checked luggage size of an American Tourister that I actually liked. Now, I know that's, like, first world problems, but you girl likes cute stuff. Okay, anyways, um, I'm gonna have to figure out how to do this because as you can tell, like, over here is the bathroom, so it has some natural light, but back here I have to have the lights on, which is really yellow. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to film this with a good light source and go from there. Because I, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. So, we'll try. A few moments later. Okay, checking in on the little camera, or my vlogging camera, per se. Alright, so, I don't know if you guys can tell, but here are the size difference. This is a carry-on, which is, like, roughly 20 inches, and here's the medium checked luggage, which I think is 24 inches. If I'm wrong, I'll insert it on the screen somewhere else, but 
This is the brand American Torster. It's just the white marble. Um, just the white marble. And right here we actually have like a little GoPro connector. So um, when we're rolling it through the airport, we can have it connected to the GoPro. Let me lay it down so I can show you guys. Now, like I said, this lighting is going to be really poor. I have studio lights, but I just, the hassle of setting them up for literally maybe 10 minutes is not worth it. I will say though, So, ooh, that light. We actually have some stuff left in here from when we went home the last time, I be or when I went home. When we went home, whatever this light is, harsh, honey, harsh. <laughs> Anyways, um, but that doesn't matter. I'll still just show you. So, this is what it looks like open. You have, like... The side where you can put your clothes and it comes with the strap so you can like I guess tighten your clothes or make sure they don't roll everywhere or whatever I'm honestly not even sure what like the strap is technically supposed to be for so if you guys know can you like comment down below what it's used for because I I mean I could google it but let's be real it's too lazy and then right here it has a um like a little small compartment so you put like jewelry or uh, tampons if you're a girl you put like little bitty stuff that doesn't need to be everywhere or you don't have enough room like in your other like makeup bag or whatever and then over here on the other over here on the other side it is a little mesh divider and it actually is a zipper compartment instead of a uh, little like buckle that holds the clothes in so you can separate clothes over here from over here so if you have like your delicates over here that obviously you can't really put over here because they're gonna they're gonna fly all over the place then you can put them over here and then zip them up so yeah it'll still get messy but it'll be like an organized mess if any of you girls know what that's like all right this is a really good like off brand of a cow pack now american torso is a huge brand a lot of people use it and that and i've like i've heard like good reviews but i've also heard like bad reviews so I mean every brand has their good and bad reviews let's be honest but it slides I swear I have shorts on it slides around really easy I know you can only see the top of it right now but it allows you to see like how easy it can slide and all of that now this one's going to be a little bit more difficult to show you just because it is it is like a lot larger but um yeah so on the cow pack it comes like in its own like little it comes in its own little what would you call this like a dust bag like when you buy like nice purses they come with it you can either like unscrunchie it here and take it out or they actually have down here kind of like a baby's onesie. Hold on, I got it the wrong way. Like baby's onesies that have a little Velcro down here so you can change their diaper really easy. They have that so you can just be like, you pull it off like that. Now I will say the one thing with Calpac that I really wanted to invest in is uh they actually come with a built-in lock to the side of it and so right here as you can see the um, zipper has these little 
notches in them and you just stick them in right here and it'll lock the entire suitcase instead of you having to buy a separate TSA approved lock which can be a struggle. Um, I got a gold marble one. This is what it looks like. Um, I wish there was better lighting guys. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I got a gold marble one. It has four wheels, just like the other one. It rolls really easily. I mean, I didn't show this to you on the other one, but I mean, most rolling suitcases come with that. So if you want, it just makes it easier. They both have these little notches. So like, if you set it down, it's not gonna scuff up the sides. This one also has them too. Right here is kind of where you can see the quality difference almost um, just by how much more stuff or how many more options of stuff you have in here versus like the American Tourister. And now I can't speak for every brand. I can't even really speak for these brands just because I'm not sponsored by them. I'm like my own person. I bought both of these. Yeah. So, as you can see, this one has the two sides, obviously, but this side actually has a, like a, like a zippered net over it. This is so hard one-handed. Okay, I'm not going to unzip it all the way, but it has a zippered net, and then it also has the little elastic clasp. So if you need to, so that way you don't have to worry about coming back. It's just, you can all be a mess and just kind of be thrown in there willy nilly and be done with it. Now on this side, let me get you guys to focus. On this side, it actually comes with shoe storage right here. So you can like stick your shoes in there. It also comes with uh, a slightly larger but netted pocket, so you probably put your toothbrush, your phone chargers, whatever you needed to put in there, just like, so if you only wanted to bring a checked bag and you don't want to bring a carry-on bag, you can put like your little stuff in there. And then this side is a zipper as well. And then you open it and then this side doesn't have the like elastic clasp like the other side does. Let's see. There we go. But um, this side's just like free range but it's nice because like this is a solid like a solid um cover instead of it being netted like that. I will say these zippers on the inside, the zippers on the inside are a lot smoother to go about rather than the American Torster. They stick a little bit, but that's just the name of the game. Back to the big guy. Now, if you're just like if you do light traveling, there's really no need for, I'm losing my sunlight, so the lighting is just going to get even worse in here. But if you are doing light traveling and you don't need an expensive suitcase, I would definitely recommend the American Tourist. Through. I mean, it's gotten us through many different hauls, whether it's like going home to visit our parents or going to Boise, Idaho etc like it's it's a good brand it's a good suitcase it's sturdy it does its job but if you're doing a lot of traveling and you want something just a little bit sturdier and you want something that already comes with TSA approved locks on it then I would recommend the and you want to spend like a little bit more money I would recommend the cow pack uh, all the cow packs, like the hard side of suitcases, they all come with the TSA approved locks already on them. Whereas like other brands, like you have to buy your own. And then you have to worry about, even though it's TSA, you have to worry about like, are they really going to put it back on? Whereas like this, they can zip it back up and go. 
with the cow pack they also send you like this little black thingy and all it has in it is like some stickers which i mean they are actually super cute and if i like to stick stickers on my computer i would probably put one or two of them on there but i don't know why but i just i have this fear that it's not gonna come off and then they also send you how like a little how-to card to like change the lock pin thing the lock code yeah they also send you like a little how to change the lock code and what's really good about uh cow pack is they send you like a little return slip and so say it's not what you wanted and you wanted to send it back they send you the slip so you don't have to like pay for shipping or anything i think i don't know but what i thought was cool is they send you like a little passport i think it's focused. okay they send you a little passport and in there it shows like do you have everything so it gives you like a list of everything that you could possibly need to pack like your clothes your footwear your beauty and grooming your minuscule stuff or your essentials like your phone your computers etc and then it also gives you like cleaning care and like what damage is and like if there is regular damage to it not to worry about it but if something's like actually wrong and broken like a wheel stops spinning or like the whole like thing is like concaved in or i i don't know like something's wrong with it they also do offer like warranty stuff on it and then if you have returns and any more questions they tell you to go to their website so with that being said oh also i mean it's pretty obvious but i excuse me it's pretty obviously pretty obvious come on taylor but Calpac also offers a ton of different styles of suitcases so whether you need like hard sided you need ones for hats you need they also offer like a vanity like a little vanity suitcase that comes with a strap on the back that you can like while the handle is like raised you can put it on there and you don't have to worry about carrying two separate things they offer backpacks, they offer like little rolly under the seat ones. They offer a ton of different options. So, with that being said, make your decision how you want. I'm not telling you, oh, you need to go buy a cow pack. You need to drop the money on a cow pack. Spend your money wisely. Be responsible with it. Don't be like me. I like to fling my wallet everywhere and spend and like just impulse buy. I think that's everything. I don't really have much to talk about left. I don't really have a lot to talk about anymore. I'm rambling. I'm stuttering. I'm starving. So thanks for where I'm going to sign off. I don't have a sign off. I don't have a cool like peace out guys. See you later or deuces or catch you on the flip side i don't have any of that i'm sure i'll figure it out as i go but until then see you next time